CompTIA ITF plus complete training course. Exam Objective 2.8 Given a scenario, install, configure and secure a basic wireless network. Wireless networks 802.11, A, B, G, N, and AC. To talk about wireless networks, we need to first talk about Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi, short for wireless fidelity, is a technology that allows computing devices to connect to and communicate with other computing devices wirelessly. It enables the transmission of data over short distances using radio waves, typically within a home, small office, or public space, by connecting to a wireless access point. Now that we have a definition for Wi-Fi, we can move on to wireless standards. There have been multiple standards since Wi-Fi came onto the scene in 1997, with each standard being developed by the IEEE. So I guess the next thing to do is to explain what IEEE is. IEEE is the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers. They're a professional association known for developing technical standards across various industries, including networking and telecommunications. Now we know who develops the standards for Wi-Fi. I guess we are getting warmer. But we don't have the complete picture yet. Out of all the standards compiled by the IEEE, the numerically labeled 802 set of standards are the standards that pertain to local area networks or LAN communications. From here we need to break open and look at a small subset of the 802 standards. This subset of standards that we will be focusing on for now is labeled 802.11. 802.11 is all about Wi-Fi. How it works and what makes it tick. Or more technically speaking, 802.11 is an evolving family of specifications for wireless local area networks or WLANs. And for your CompTIA certification exam, we will focus on the following 802.11 specifications. 802.11a 802.11b 802.11g 802.11n and 802.11ac. In the next few videos, I will discuss different aspects of these 802.11 standards including the information in the table you see here. Eventually, I am hopeful you will not only commit the information in this table to memory, but will also understand all of its components. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.